Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be playing Folklands, which is a city builder slash colony sim. Uh, this is a new game, this is a demo version. The new game is set for release sometime this year. So let's get into it, let's see how it plays. So let's start a single player. And you can generate a different map so you get different sizes here. We can't do huge because that's in full game. So we just go with that first one there. Yeah, they all look the same. So we'll go with that one. Let's start a new game. What's generating the world? Okay, right. So we're into it. So it's... Uh, yeah, so it starts you to tutorial. This is my first playthrough. So you've got the world here. It's like an isometric top-down view. So you've got different resources here. Pretty berry bushes. They look like there. Trees and stone. All different biomes that you can expect. So first things first, we have to place a settlement. So that's got to be near some trees, berries, and rocks. What we'll place it over here? Oh, there we go. Having a set settlement, fantastic. Now let's get set up so we can provide ourselves with a builder's hut. Very well, let's build a builder's hut. Let's put a builder's hut next to my settlement. Uh, next, we need uh, some transporters carrying building materials from our settlement to the building site. So uh, we need roads to connect it, okay. Yeah, I see my people coming out. Oh, so I gotta build the build this up. Oh, speed this up a little bit. Yeah, click on it, it tells you the progress of it, how many workers you can set to it, service status and build orders. Let me just take a quick look, oh, let's pause it. Okay, quick look at the UI as well. So it's got all the basics that you expect for this sort of game. So you've got your, um, your unemployed folks at the top here. So I've got 10, the whole villagers. We've got 16 at the minute. Overall happiness of the settlement. Housing capacity and how many uh, new folks will arrive. So it gives you a timer. Then up here you've got your resources. So my stone, my wood, uh, my coins. And then you can different views as well so taxation maintenance fire coverage and desirability oh, okay so it's pretty basic uh, ui for this you've also got uh, looks like uh, screenshot mode there oh, okay build the house so that's built yeah so when you place new buildings it should be inside the service area your build is put uh, so I need to place a woodcutter. So let's get a woodcutter down. Let's get a woodcutter and let's put it on the trees over here. Oh. Yeah, that way. Connect it with a path. Go yeah, for right, I'll go and build my woodcutter now. This little area is actually border here. Then you can expand your border later on in the game. Here roaming around here, I'm guessing we can hunt them at some point. There we go, there's the woodcutter built, and I need a stone mine as well. There's a stone mine. 
We will build it here because it's lots of stone here. Build up there. There we go, so connect it with half. Be built. Right, so that's built. Uh, place a sawmill near the woodcutter. Right, so that's so uh, we turn logs into planks, I'm guessing. So sawmill here. What's the place? Oh, there we go. So we've got sawmill down. Now we're looking. So six, 16 villagers. We've got eight unemployed at the moment. Then I can actually step more workers. About. I've got one builder. So let's put that. I've only got two hammers at the minute. Okay, so I think two's the max. I think I have to put it up, but I don't think they'll actually do anything. And the woodcutter, ah, let's put that up. So I've got two woodcutters now. And same with the stone mine. Okay, so I need to build five houses now. Right, so stone mine, let's get the stone in. So I need to build two houses. Small house here which holds a limit of four occupants. Once they chop them trees down, I can get them straight into the store mill. And my efficiency's gone up now, up to 70 mil. Uh, production of stone mines at 100%. How so many stone mines around there? The pickaxe is three, so I'm going to sell more than I've got any hit in it. So my housing pass is at, at 20, 76% are up. 70 workers, new folk arrived time, so the is going up now as I build more houses. That one. That one. The click on this tab actually gives you a settlement overview here. How many transporters you've got, so they they'll just Gather the resources that you need and take them to where you want. Trading, I've got a trading post yet and progression. So that's just to upgrade the houses so we get more people in there. Alright, so I need to build a berry hut to feed. 
sounds up here. Okay, so build a berry hut. Berry hut and then the three bushes up here. gathering hut here for the berries. Let's place it there, that'll do. Ferry huts been built, so let's have another gatherer onto that. Yeah, so everyone's working at the minute. Uh, so I need a wallet as well to get some water. So let's put a while here so everyone can accept it. I'll put it there, that'll do it. Settlements arise. I've had one more person at the minute, so I'll probably put that on the very hook. Get my food up. That's so when you actually put down the trees, they actually do disappear. I don't know if they respawn or not. Sure. Well, you can get a forester to replant them. Oh, there we go, so the whale's been built. Uh, we need to build a small market now to start selling our goods. So I need to assign a worker to that, so what I'll probably do is get rid of the every worker and put one on the whale. That you. So, there we go. Uh, we need to build a market. That so it's got to be near the houses so they can access all the goods. And, uh, yeah, I'll build it next to a settlement. I don't build that. Are we looking on resources? So 26 stone, 18 plank. Click on this little going up here, it actually tells you all the goods that you've got. So I've got 19 berries, 3 water at the minute. And just looking at what else you can get. You get the rules for tools, you can do fishing, you get gold, silver, while I look at it. And I'm not sure what they are. Alright, so I'm not sure now stop, start stocking up the market. Tell you folks, stock up the market. Uh, water and berries. And I need to ask someone 10 water and 10 berries to the market. Okay. Need a worker in there really as well, so let's get rid of that little worker there, uh, so okay. But I've got another one coming anyway in a minute, so I'll set him to the marketplace and then I'll stock up on berries of 10. Stock up on water of 10. There we go. I'll right, sign another merchant to work at the market. one working at the minute, I just need to bring another one in. Uh, what I'll do, I'll get rid of the... the we've got quite a bit of stone at the minute, so what I'll do, I'll take one work from stone and put them in the market. There we go. So, tax collection, obviously this is how you get coins, you have to tax in settlers. Uh, build a tax collector's office, your house, house is inside its service area. So, tax collection. And the 
houses have got to be within range so I can start money off them. Got this one here, just in case. Yeah, I'll put it there so in case we want to build any houses up here. Uh, let's get that one built. We're running out of money, so I need that tax built ASAP. Uh, so that one. Let's wait for that to be built. I'm missing planks at the minute. So all my production machine is very low check for production. Um, so I'm not producing any at the moment. That might be because of this area. Yeah, put it down here so it needs to be within the builder stuff. So if I place it right there, farmers should be able to go and get some wood done. Harvest log, so there's no forest in the area. Okay, so I need to change the production of uh, the harvest area on here as well. So that trees have gone. So if I place these over here, I'll right, we'll start chopping down some trees and then I can turn them into planks. There we go. Chopping up on them berries. built. Now we're looking 21 of 30 villages at the moment are employed. So what I will do is oh, I'll leave that to the tax office. I'll employ them at the tax office. Got another one here now. So I've got three unemployed. Housing capacity of 25 and I've got 22 villages. So we're looking good at the minute. Right, okay, transporters move resources, so place a build, place a build of storage. I can distribute planks and stone. So right, it's only the storage area. Okay, so, uh, simple storage area. Transport goods. So I want our storage area to be. Probably put it in the middle there. Yeah, that looks good. So I've got access to the berries and the stone this side, and then I've got the planks this side. Right, Stockwood storage of planks and stone, then add some transporters. Okay, so I'll transport in the moment, so I've got to do it into there. Storage, stockwood farm, planks, and planks, and ten stone. Right, build, build houses and grey settlements with 30 villages. So that's good. And I'm going to so you only got 30 on the storage as well, which has been a lot. You might be able to upgrade this, I'm not sure. 
Alright, let's build some more houses because I need to get 30 villagers. Tools to pop to be able to produce or trade tools. I guess I've actually got any. They should have because he's got a pick up. Someone else. What sort of name? I don't know who it was. Berries. One for the berries. Builders. I'll stick with three for them. Oh, there we go. So I've got enough housing for 40 people. I've just got to wait for the population. To reach 30 villages. Resources looking fine. It seems quite chilled out this game. Relaxing music. I think, it's, I think it's just one of those games that. I think it's just one of those games that's quite chilled out. If you like this sort of thing, like quality builders, base building games that are quite chilled out, you just relax and just play it. I don't, there's nothing hardcore about it. Or simple, or symmetric top down view. So, if you're into these sort of games, probably worth checking it out. This is available on Steam at the moment. This is the demo version. Right, how are we looking? So, I'm nearly at 30 villages at the moment. And then I could probably do with planting a forester actually, because all three. Going out so on my border. Right, let's build a. Right, okay, well, so we've reached the 30 folks. Now I need to place in the fire stations to cover all the buildings. Okay, so you, the buildings can set on fire. And then I'll build the forest there. there.
quicker. So the fire station's been built. Forest now, so look at that, plant some more trees now. We're looking at 32 villages we're at now. 88% happiness. I've got six employed at the moment. Forest is proud, just the one. Upgrading the houses, it's time for your folks to upgrade the houses. Allow building upgrades from the settlement overview screen. Okay, so I'm guessing they'll do it by themselves, maybe. So settlement overview, let's click on the settlement there. Uh, uh, progression, allow upgrades, yeah. Building outpost, expand your borders. Ah, uh, there we go, that's what I was saying earlier. So you can actually expand it past this little uh, border here. Station farm, let's put two working on there. And I think I'll build on the border down this way so I can get all these trees. Need a watchtower over here. Start building some more houses as well. Houses down. Yeah, so that's connected off this. So we start building over this. Or even, what more do actually, that film up there, be better. Oh no, the tax collection, hang on, tax, there. Uh, oh, let's destroy that, change of plan. Oh, I don't know, meeting new needs, so I need to create some bread, which can play. Build a wheat farm on open grasslands. Gravy houses by themselves, so like tier 2 now, so I can increase the population of it to 5. Um, so the borders, yes, yeah, so it didn't really do much to be fair. Quite a few watchtowers, I think. Didn't actually open it up that, that much. Oh, so let's get a farm anyway. A big farm. So let's put the big farm over here. Put back for it. Okay. And then we'll probably get the 
No, I'm not sticking. Yeah, I'm sticking in here. Oh no, I ain't got a bloody hammer yet. Can't build any at the moment. Start producing some bread. Build a bakery. Well, are we looking? So, uh, 10 planks up in it. Yeah, resources are looking fine. Population's up to 41. Producing some bread at the moment. It's a bread within the range of the windmill. Oh, so you've got to wait for people to come to my village at the minute to make your first bread. as far as you can get with the demo version so thank you for trying this demo review slash, uh, slash review build we hope you enjoyed it so far in the full game you can enjoy several other production chains such as tool making meat production brewing and more in addition several other features such as trading higher tiers with more demands and cross-platform multiplayer okay so you get a multiplayer in this game as well when it's full release that, that should be pretty cool continue to play and if you can't issues blah 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 okay very well Nice, so you can actually continue playing, or let's just pause that there for now, so you can continue to play if you wanted to, but that's the end of the demo as far as it gets with the uh, 
things that you can actually build so you can keep growing your population so i mean if you like these sort of games it's quite chilled out it's very um even with the music and it's quite a relaxing game to play if you're into this sort of game you'll probably like this game so it is on steam like i said it's the demo version so go check it out and let me know what you think in the comments i've got to um, wrap it up for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video appreciate any feedback any subs and likes really helps the channel out and i'll see you in the next one